Hey, this is Brett, and this 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon is stock number 23J34. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. This 2023 Jeep Gladiator has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It is paired up with the six speed manual transmission, so kind of a rare uh, set up on this one and this one's going to get you 23 miles per gallon on the highway 16 city for a combined average of 19 miles per gallon it puts out 285 horsepower and 260 foot pounds of torque it is capable of towing for up to 4500 pounds and has a max payload of 1200 pounds i found those specs right on jeep's website um, I'm going to go all the way around in this video, show you all the options. We're going to check out the original window sticker, um, take a look at the tires, the interior, and everything that this particular Jeep has to offer. And once again, if you always, if you uh, like the video or learn anything from it, give us a like, subscribe, and let everybody else know about it. Anyways, we're going to get right into it. This one has the standard halogen fog lights as well as the headlights. One little Easter egg, you do get the Jeep logo on those headlights. You also get the red tow hooks with the Rubicon package and only the Rubicon package. You get the seven slotted grill with the granite crystal inserts on there. You also get the sports style hood um, with the bulge on there and the simulated um, heat extractors. This one has the color matched fenders as well as the color matched hardtop. So those are two very nice options on this particular Gladiator. Here are the tires and rims. You get the painted and polished aluminum with the uh, red Jeep on there. And this one has Falcon Wild Peak AT tires. These are LT285 70R17s. Kind of an aggressive uh, tread pattern on there, which you'd expect on the Rubicon package. You also get the Rubicon lettering on the hood. Those are just stickers. If you didn't like them, you could always remove them. You get the granite crystal Jeep lettering with the red outline and all the Rubicons come with the rock rails right here. So that's to protect the body when you're going over treacherous terrain. A couple little Easter eggs as well. You get the sandals on the shroud there. You get the Jeep climbing up the windshield. And then uh, not Easter eggs, but you get the T50 on the door hinges, which lets you know which bolts or which Torx wrench that you need to get those bolts out. We actually did a video on how to take your doors off your Gladiator. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. We'll check out the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything just for sake of time, uh, but you can see 2023 Gladiator Rubicon, black clear coat, black interior, 3.6 V6, six speed manual transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment. This one does have the Uconnect 4C with nav. Then your optional equipment starts right there with the black clear coat, $4.95. Leather trim bucket seats are $19.95. Gives you the leather wrapped park brake and shift knob, as well as the full length floor console with premium armrest. Uh, 23R is the Rubicon package. Gives you cold weather group, which is $1,045. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, and leather wrapped steering wheel. Uh, you get the color match hardtop, which is $28.95 and the color match fender flares, which are $9.95. So almost uh, $4,000 worth of options just for those color match pieces. 17 inch by seven and a half inch polished black aluminum wheels are $12.45 and the spray and bed liner is $5.25. Total MSRP on this Jeep is $61,985. If you wanna get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Gladiator as well as availability. So click that, check us out there. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain. Uh, there is your fuel economy ratings and your crash test ratings, four and five stars for front and three for rollover, not rated for anything else. Hope that was helpful. Uh, coming around, you'll note that you get the four wheel disc brakes um, just kind of want to show you these shocks and these control arms. Everything's very beefy on the Rubicon. You get a lot of skid plates to protect everything if you're going off 
road and uh, rocks and everything. And of course the rock rails help keep the body from getting damaged. You also get these metal bars on the back here to protect the box of the truck. Um, you get the metal rear bumper. That looks like it's painted in granite crystal as well. Uh, it does have the receiver or the four pin and the seven pin wiring. This one does not have the receiver hitch. So I'm pretty sure that all you'd have to do is put a receiver hitch on there. You'd be ready to go. Has the locking tailgate, shock down assist tailgate. So it's never gonna slam on you. You get the LED bed lighting, spray and bed liner by Mopar. And that bed liner goes on to the tailgate, which is really nice as well. We'll take a look at the interior here. This one does have the enter and go system, heated mirrors. Inside, you get the black leather seats with the red stitching. You get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest. These do have side airbags on them. Uh, driver's seat height adjuster and lumbar, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt, telescopic steering wheel, power locks, power mirrors. Take a quick look at the back seats. Back here you get the latch child safety system, the manual sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. These headrests fold down like so. You get a lockable spot back here. So when you have the top off and the doors off, you can put your valuables behind here, lock that seat so nobody can get back there. Speaking of taking that hard top off, there's a, there's a disc quick, quick disconnect right here. And then you get a couple bolts right there. We actually did a demo on how to take your hard top of your, off your Gladiator. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen if you want to check that out. Um, and then these seats do go up like so. They kind of lock into place. There's a spot for all your bolts for your doors and your roof pieces as well, which is really nice. And you get a um, contained storage area back here as well. Factory floor mat, this is your case for your front hard top pieces. Back here you get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in. Child safety locks on the back doors. Hop inside, check out the radio instrument cluster and everything that this Jeep has to offer on the interior. I like how you get the animation at the beginning there. Um, this one has a digital speedometer, the seven inch LCD display, heated leather wrap steering wheel, Bluetooth and information center controls. Note the red stitching on the steering wheel as well as the uh, red dash. Cruise controls, you do get audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one has the 8.44C radio factory navigation system, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You have your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls, and your backup cameras on these Gladiators are now HD, so they are crystal clear, um, really great to use. You have all your different apps on here as well. This one has, of course, off-road pages. You have your projection manager where you can project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. We did a demo on an 8.4 with Android Auto. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen as well. Um, check out that video. Then you have your off-road pages. They do take a second to load. So while they're loading, I will say that you get your radio controls, your more tactile controls right there. You may be lost but never stuck in a Gladiator. So here are your off-road pages. You get your steering angle. Uh, so when I turn the steering wheel, you can see that that turns with the steering wheel. You have your transfer case, sway bar, if it's connected or disconnected, front axle if it's locked or unlocked, and same thing with the rear axle. You have your latitude, longitude, altitude right there as well. You get your different accessory gauges and your pitch and roll. So a lot of cool stuff that you can do, especially if you're off-roading. Down here, uh, like I said, you get your more tactile buttons and knobs for audio and climate controls, your start-stop capabilities, stability control, you can turn the screen off, your hazard lights, you can mute it uh, right there as well. These are your window controls. Your This is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon, your uh, locking front and rear axle, or just the rear. You get an off-road plus mode, where you can go into, uh, where you can go a little bit faster in uh, four-wheel drive low, and then a uh, sway bar disconnect for better, um, off-roading capabilities for the front tires. 
six-speed manual transmission. You get your keyless entry here with the flipper key, which is really nice. Um, nice chunky key fob, and then you can put that right there, and it sits nicely. And then you get that red dash. It's kind of a matte finish to that. There's no metallic or anything in it. Um, looks good, though. Get the red stitching on the dash as well. And then auto dimming mirror, home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems. Assist and SOS buttons right there as well. Got all your quick disconnects for that those front hard top pieces. And that's pretty much it. Um, we can check out the tire and loading information sticker as well as the VIN sticker. And then I'll show you under the hood so that you can see the sticker for emissions. We sell these vehicles all over the United States, so if you're somewhere else, don't be afraid to consider us. We've sold a lot of vehicles out of state, so this is the one. Definitely let us know. And then there is the emissions sticker. And that is pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to get a really good idea of the overall looks, styling, and options on this particular 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon in black clear coat. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Gladiators, Cherokees, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Gladiator trucks I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to how to take your hard top off your Gladiator in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon in black clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.